Hey family, it's Adrian White, your favorite drummer from Atlanta. And as you can see, I am in full swing getting things set up in the drum studio for today. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Yamaha Stage Custom versus the Pearl Vision Kit. Now, both of these kits are five piece kits made of 100% birch. I will also be talking about the different heads I'm using, the different microphones I'm using, as well as the cymbals. But mostly, we will be talking about the difference in sound, if there's a difference in sound, in between the Pearl Vision and the Stage Custom. All right, so let's get right into it. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I'm looking forward to doing it. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Adrian White, your favorite drummer. As you can see, we now have the drum sets set up like I want them. We have the Pearl Vision and the Yamaha Stage Custom. But let's get into the microphones that I'm gonna use today for the kit. And I tried to make sure I was consistent or close to what I was going to be using for each kit because I don't want you to think that I'm using a different microphone to produce a different sound. All right. So for the kick drums, we'll be using the Sennheiser series. This is a 602 and I have the Sennheiser 902. Um, there is a slight bit of difference in them. This one has a mid cut on it that I really do like. And this one is a little bit more tighter. So 602, 902. This is almost like daddy son. For my snare mics, I'm going to be using a very inexpensive uh, snare mic that resembles the SM57, but this is the Pile PDM IC78. If you've never used this snare drum mic, it actually is a really good microphone to use, and it's inexpensive. It's cost effective, so check it out. That is the Pile PDM IC78, which is a replica of the SM57 snare drum mic by Shure. All right, moving right along. When it comes to the hi-hat, um, I'm going with the MXL 993. Now, if you've never used this microphone, it's a very all-around purpose microphone. Um, you can use it on hi-hats, overheads. You can also use it to cut choirs. You can use it to cut string instruments. It's a very good all-purpose microphone, in my opinion, and it works well in all of those applications. So you have a you know you have your DB zero or minus 10 and you have your low cut right there. So and it also comes with interchangeable capsules if you ever decide to change them out. So try those out and get a chance. When it comes to the Tom mics, I had to go with the microphones that I had the most of, which is right back to the pile PDM IC78. And the reason why I went with these on the rack Tom is because I have like six of these microphones. And just to be consistent and fair, that's what I decided to go with when it came to the Tom, the Rack Toms, the 10 and the 12 on each kit. All right. Check that out right there. Now, when it comes to the floor Tom microphones, everybody is different. Everybody uses different things. Once again, I'm going with something that I have the same or the majority of because I like to be consistent sometimes. So this microphone right here is I don't even know how to pronounce it correctly. So if I jack it up, let me know. It is called Heimu or Haimu. It is spelled H-E-I-M-U. I'm not going to pretend like I know where that's from because I don't know. But the number is a HDM61. Now, if you look at it, it looks like a smaller version of the Shure Beta 52. Now, it does not have the same punch as the Beta 52, but I'm using this on the floor time because I do use this in my kick mic um, applications for different things and floor toms. I've even used it on snare before and it worked out pretty good. All right. So as you can see, I have two of those for the floor toms. All right. Now, here we go. When it comes to the overheads, I'm using a set of pencil microphones and I'm just going to give you an idea how big it is in comparison. I have decently sized hands. Okay. So just give you an idea how big this microphone is or how small it is. It's very good for hi hats good for uh, overheads. Once again, another great microphone for choirs and string instruments. And this is called a newer NW410. And it also comes with interchangeable capsules at the top. Okay. So you screw this off and you have two other additional capsules, as you can see, that you can use for different applications. Um, just showing you here what we got. Okay. That's what I'll be using for my overheads. I'm not using anything for snare bottom or anything like that or kick in or kick out. It's going to be basically an eight piece setup for the mics and for the drums. So 
Let's go ahead and start setting these mics in place and getting everything in place like we want it. I'll do a little bit of tuning and then we'll go from there. All right, let's get it cracking. As you can see, there is a slight depth difference in toms between the Stage Custom and the Pearl Vision Kit. We'll see if that makes a difference in sound. Both kits have a coated snare drum head and Remo pinstripe heads on the toms and floor toms. On the kick, I'm actually using the factory head that came with it. So we'll see. And I think if I'm not mistaken, for whatever reason, the bass drum on the Stage Custom feels like it's a one ply while the Pearl Vision seems like it's a two-ply. We'll see if we can tell the difference in that. Now, I'm not using any compression. I'm not using any enhancement, none whatsoever. So what you're going to get is all raw sound, kick, snare, and some cymbals. And when it comes to my cymbals, I'm using a variety of cymbals, Sabian, Zildjian, Wuhan, no-name cymbals. So I'm using a variety of what we're going to be doing. And as you saw earlier, the different types of mics that I'm using on the kit. All right. So let's give it a test run and see what we got. Now, I'm going to start with the Yamaha Stage Custom just because, well, that's where I am. I start everything on my left. I'm not left-handed, I am right-handed, but I start with my left. That comes from my marching band days stepping off on the left all right so let's get right to it i'll go in individual drums around the kit just the drums and then i'll incorporate a small little simple groove and we'll move and do that to the next kit all right so let's see what this yamaha stage custom is producing for us today we'll start with the kick snare tom tom floor tom then i'll do a groove all right here we go All right, that's the individual sound. Now let's take a little run around the kit, bringing in the cymbals, maybe a few feels, because I'm not a fancy guy, so I'm just gonna play a little pocket beat, and let's see what we come up with, and you tell me about the sound and what you like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
there we have it. The Yamaha Stage Custom Birch. Tell me what you think. Go off in the comments. Tell me what you hear, what you didn't hear. Even if you didn't like what I did at all, let me know. Now, we're going to go over here to the Pearl Vision and give it a round and see what we come up with, see what we like. You know, nice kit, like the finishes. And all right, let's take it around individually, come around with another groove, and let's see. All right, let's see what kind of groove I can come up with for the Pearl Vision Kit. And there we have it. We have the comparison between the Yamaha Stage Custom and the Pearl Vision Kit. Let me know what you think. Let me know which one you like, which one you didn't like, if you don't like either one of them. Now, I will say this about both kits. Both of these kits are great for entry-level semi-pro drumming. If you look on most of your tech riders and your stage riders, the Yamaha Stage Custom is the most uh, requested drum kit I've seen. I was just out on tour, on a blues tour, and either they brought me a stage custom or a DW. I had more DW than the stage custom, but out of, I want to say out of 16 dates, I had maybe the stage custom eight times. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you had a good time with this. I had fun making this video. Let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments or let me know what else you want to see done.